have you considered recommitting to a weight loss goal but find that every time you do, you have a little, or maybe big, voice in your head telling you that you're just going to fail this time like you have in the past? My name is Katherine Basu, this is Titan and Tone Tuesday, and today I'm going to explain why that little voice in your head is wrong and what to do about it. There are three main reasons why people fail to reach their weight loss goals. And two out of those three reasons are not your fault. So what's that first reason? The first reason would be if you don't take any action at all, right? Obviously, if you decide that you want to lose weight and you don't change your eating habits and you don't add any movement to your day, you're not going to lose weight. So that would be your fault. And you already know that and we're not going to talk about that in these videos. But today and next week, I'm going to talk about the other two reasons why people fail at their weight loss goals and give you a little bit of knowledge that will help you overcome those reasons that weren't your fault in the first place so that you can actually see results. So let's dive into that first reason why people fail at their weight loss goals and help you gain your confidence back so that you can work on your weight loss goal and actually reach it. So the first of the two main reasons why people fail at their weight loss goals when it's not their fault is that they go on diets. And, believe it or not, diets do not work. Now, if you've been on a diet and lost weight in the short term or have friends who have had that same experience, you might be wondering about me a little bit right now, but let me explain. Most diets and weight loss plans sell you on the fact that they can help you lose more weight in less time than their competitors. And this is just a recipe for disaster. It's very tempting to buy into, but it's not going to give you those long-term results. And here's why. Think about that last diet plan or weight loss program you heard about or maybe even tried, and how much weight they told you you could lose in a certain amount of days. The last one I heard was a plan where you could lose 30 pounds in 30 days. Now that sounds great, I mean, sign us all up, right? But it goes against what healthy weight loss can offer us. To lose weight in a healthy way, you can expect to lose 0.5 to 2 pounds in one week. So that would be 8 pounds in a really good month, which is way less, 22 pounds less, if I did my math correctly, than the 30 pounds in 30 days. And the fact that there's such a discrepancy between healthy weight loss and what a diet plan or diet program can give you is a big problem. And it's why if you've tried one of those plans in the past, it likely failed, especially in the long term. So you might be wondering what is going on with these diets and why some of your friends have been successful in the short term. And the answer is that, again, things aren't very healthy. Most of the weight that you're losing on those diet programs that have that really high amount of weight loss in a short amount of time are having you lose water weight, muscle mass, and usually both. Now, losing that water weight isn't such a bad thing, I mean, except for the fact that most of your body is made of water and you do need water and you need to be hydrated. But that point aside, the scarier part is that muscle mass part, that lean tissue in your body. So notice, neither of these things, water or muscle tissue, are the same thing as fat, which is what you really want to lose. And if you know anything about muscle tissue, you might have heard that muscle weighs more than fat, and that's true, and so you'll have a, more of a weight loss than if you lost the same amount of fat. But obviously, you really need muscles, and probably want them more than we want that fat tissue in our body, especially when you consider the fact that your muscles burn more calories even at rest, than fat cells do. And if you're starting to get rid of your muscle tissue, you're also getting rid of your body's ability to burn calories. And so as soon as you're off that diet, your body's going to try to build that muscle tissue back, which is a good thing, but you're also not going to be able to burn calories as efficiently. And so there's two reasons there why you're gaining back that weight that you lost very quickly in the short term, but you're not going to keep off in the long term. And you might gain back even more weight in the long term because you start off with a really low metabolism, really low ability for your body to burn calories at rest. So that's reason one why you might have failed that weight loss in the past. 
if you tried to tackle your weight loss goal by just going on a diet, by depriving yourself because you were attracted to that quick fix of losing a lot of weight in a short amount of time, I don't blame you. I would be on board with that as well. But the problem is that it's not long term. It's causing your body more harm than good. So in order to not fall prey to the first of my big two reasons why people fail out their weight loss goals, you're going to need to ditch dieting for good. Now, what are you gonna do instead? What you wanna do instead is work on eating healthy. And if you don't know where to begin with that, you can stop by the blog. I'll be leaving you a link to a website that has some free resources for personalizing your nutrition. And I think you'll find that very helpful. Did you enjoy this video? I know I did. If you did, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up on YouTube and to share it, especially if you have a friend who has been feeling like a failure when it comes to reaching his or her weight loss goals and you want to help them gain back their confidence and learn to lose weight by doing things the healthy way. Now that you've watched this video, it's time to take action now. Have you fallen victim to some of the outrageous claims that are often made by the diet industry? Tell us about the last diet you heard of or were on and why you now know that that diet is something that needs to be ditched if you're looking for long-term success with your weight loss goals. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching this week's Tightening and Tone Tuesday video. Don't forget to come back next week for episode two of this series where I'm talking about the reasons why you have failed at your weight loss goals in the past that weren't actually your fault and what you can do in order to gain back your confidence and enjoy long-term success. I hope you have a great week, awesome workouts, and to see you soon. Do you need a little extra help working through these ideas? If so, head on over to fitarmadillo.com and check out my five-day self-study course. It's the best way for you to get a personalized plan that includes fitness and healthy eating habits without the personal trainer price tag. After completing the five days, you'll finally truly be set up for success and you'll even get your own custom nutrition plan with food swaps if you do all your homework. Hope to see you in class!